Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. We give the Lord a hand praise. We thank God for you. Praise that you've had a good week. Everybody had a good week? Amen. Our God is good all the time. So we're grateful for that. And we want to remember Bishop Tatiba. He's a little bit under the weather today, so he uh, decided to stay home to protect everybody else. We want to remember him. Uh, Elder Chester, are you going to teach me this time? Okay, come on. God bless you. Tonight is a discussion. It's not even a discussion. It's more like a discussion. But it's in Luke's Gospel, the 14th chapter. And it runs from 32, the 12th verse, all the way down to the 15th verse. And then it jumps over into another discussion with the Great, great, great Supper. The Jesus may I be able to say what I need to say because I want to come from you, Lord, and nobody else but you, Lord. Move in a mighty way. Touch the place you're down. The ones that aren't here, bless them in a mighty way. Bring them out to the fold, dear God. Give them strength from day to day. And heal their bodies and their pies and their souls. And they come into the house of the Lord to worship you in spirit and in truth. Move in a mighty way. And show, show your love around us every which way we, we walk with you, Lord. And we claim it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Then said he also to him who bade him, El Chester, hello, if you need, can you give us Luke's Gospel, the, the 14th chapter, and the 12th verse. Then said he also to him who bade him, when when you, you like a dinner or supper, call not your friends nor your brethren, neither your kinsmen, not your rich neighbors, lest they also bear you again. And a recompense be made to you. When were you male, make a feast, call the poor, the, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and you shall be blessed. For they cannot recompense you. To you shall be recompensed and the resurrection of the feast. The just, and when one of them who as it even with him did heard the, the, the like they sang, he said unto them, unto him, Blessed is a is her when she came to bread, cupcake, made of candy and bread in the kingdom of, of gold, of God. You see, there have been so many churches that, that have made excuses for not going to church. They, they, they want to make excuses of not coming to church. They got, oh, I got to go to, I got to go to a wedding. God, where is your priority? Is it here or is it in Timbuktu? 
The Bible says put God first. It didn't say put him second, third, or fourth, because he has to be number one. If, if he ain't number, number one, he don't want you. And the reason why people don't get blessed is because they don't give from their heart. Money don't buy, you can't buy salvation. You cannot buy deliverance. You cannot buy all those things because I've been around a lot of homes. I've been in a million dollar homes. And I mean, they were large, and, 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 and the pastor preached and preached at that home. I stayed there, and boy, he had, he had three bathrooms in and, and, and a box, and, and a box, and seven bedrooms. And, and we had a good time in the Lord, but what you have, you need to be thankful for what you have, but use it in the, in the priority as saying, it came from Jesus, not from me. And Jesus can say, well, I'm going to pat him back that garden. Do it as unto the Lord. He will take care of you. Yes. He, he will supply your needs. And, and, when you, and when you're busy, and, and this is something else, when, when you go to a home and they don't have what you call chickens and spout, all that hog balls and all that southern fruit, go ahead and eat it. I, I, I've been in Spanish homes, Jewish homes, and I uh, and I'm amazed that I've been able to go to those things. Even when I, I'm old like this, I keep saying, "Boy, oh, I did that. I can't believe I did it." Because if you have the Holy Ghost, it will give you a holy boldness. Amen. When you when, when you say you're in the army of the Lord, you 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 better stand and work for the Lord. We, we've got to be holy, boldness, and work for the Lord. Amen. Quit trying to make excuses. Oh, I got a headache. Oh, my head is aching. My back is. Uh, I had a, I had a flu that lasted for two weeks, and, and I was fed up over there. I said, Dad, you put a trash can in the back of that car, and, and, and I'm going to go with. You. I'm going to go to church tonight. When I got in there, Pastor Moore. He, he said, before we start church, we're going to go back and pray for James. Everybody was on the first day, basis of all this, because they, they did, did it called Bishop Elder and all those things. It was, it was just simple people. And I got prayed for, and then the, the pastor Lord said, you go back home tonight, and I did some hot stuff, and see if you can put it down. Because, because they all knew I like hot food. Uh, and uh, and uh, Whenever you run Spanish people, boy, they have the hot food. I, 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 I even had a four arm chili. Mm -hmm. And boy, I ate it down so fast, and I don't want to enjoy it. And I said, I said, my eyes are watering, but I'm enjoying it. At, at, least, at least I feel like I'm among the living by getting in to people's lives and home. Even I, I remember helping Pat Elder Brown. He he drive he drove for the Mississippi Bass Choir. I mean he he, he got sick and his wife didn't want to take care of him. And, and some wife don't want to take care of your husband, but but don't forget I'm married to you for the other stuff that don't count. What what you what you really got to do is follow the Lord in spirit and in truth. We we can't we can't be negative. All things are possible to those that believe. We're, we're on the winning team. We're, and they keep saying that's wrong. We are overcome. We've already overcame by the blood of the Lord. That, that's all that I get it back to hell where it came from because we're, uh, we're among the living people. We're, he's not dead. He's still alive. And, and people, and people want to get so involved in all that. Politics stuff, and I'm not a, I'm not a Democrat or a Republican. Amen. I'm more God just telling me who to vote and, and when to vote. Amen. And, and when you, and, and this is, when my dad passed, Pastor John, nobody came with that platform unless you were saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. And he said, I'm not about to have politicians get up on that sacred place. So we came down to the lower part and, and, and ran. 
we got to we got to get back to the Lord. We're so involved in all these floods and hurricanes and all this problem the divorce and the mayor of India is getting divorced. Have you heard about that? And that, and that's sickening. Uh, when you when you put your hand to the plow, you don't look back. You really don't. When, when you say I want to be a I want to be a mayor, be it, but do it and get it done with. But but you got to choose your priorities. He could have gotten so involved in the politics, he forgot his wife. And that can happen. Mm -hmm. and, and I tell you, I, I, I see so many people agree. They have all these excuses for not coming to church. Get your presence, that's all that's necessary. I look forward to coming here. Amen. And I, we need to come together about the Oh, how present it is when brothers are together in unity. Well, I can be a hand, you, 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 you can be a lady or a neck. You can be a certain part of the body, but you're still important. You're, you're somebody, you're not a nobody. God, God don't make nobody, he makes somebody when, when they get into the will of the Lord. And so many people, they, they go to that great supper. Then go on to St. John to the 50 verse, and said he, him, a certain man, made a great supper and bad many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them who were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. I, I remember. Whenever you say you're ready for something, do you want to cook something and, 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 and wait two hours for, for this to stop? And because we, we, we keep saying we're, we're serving an on time God, we need to be on time with the Lord too because He says, while well, you're not, you're slacking, you're lacking, you, want, you don't want to obey Him and, and follow Him. That's something that I'd be out there in the trail before I married my wife. I'd be out there. I, I, I'd be there an hour earlier when I had an appointment there. And, and it was something that, that they always would say, boy, you're here on time. I, I said, people are expecting people to be on time. If, if you're working at General Morton and whatever, if you don't punch in that clock yet before you when you have to, you're, you won't get paid. It's the same thing. Business is just like in, in the church too. Everything should be done in decency and in order. It, it, it's not about you, it's not about me, it's about only about God. He, he gives you the reward. If you don't put your name in something, don't worry about it, your, your name is greater up there. Amen. Don't, don't complain so much. He, he. One thing about it, when you get to heaven, there ain't going to be no grumblers in heaven. Complaining. Oh, I don't feel like going. I, I don't like that pastor. I don't like what he said in that Sunday morning service. I'm about to be back. He, that pastor could tell me what to do, but yet he's your shepherd. And we're in the army of the Lord. And we need to apply our, our thing in, in a great word. I, I've been around a bishop in, in the Church of God in Christ. I've been around a college superintendent in the AGs and also in the CGs, which is the Church of God of Phoenix, Tennessee. My, my dad retired from, from the Church of God of Phoenix, Tennessee, and, and he got a good pension from him. Mm -hmm. and, and yet my dad was working at another job, he got a good pension. But I'll tell you, my younger brother, my sister, and my older brother, we sat on my parents' sofa. That wasn't our sofa no more because we all left. We were leaving out of there. And we made a vow to one another. We're not coming back to mom and daddy for any trouble. We're going to take it to the Lord. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. Trust him and never doubt. For he was truly bringing it on when you put your trust in him. Amen. 
Don't don't try you working it out because you might break it worse. Yeah. Let let God work it out. Yeah. I never I never forget I, whenever I was growing up, I was up in GPR in in Detroit. They'd come on there and and, and they, I I say we all night Saturday night, and I had a tape there. They, I mean, there was soul music going on, and I said I, I said. I went down there and I said, boy, I enjoyed the music. It was exciting. Hey, people were attacking their, attacking their feet, attacking their hands, and saying, praise unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. And we're not saying praise the Lord when we do this. He, he, he expects us to say, amen. Amen. When you when, when you when you go up to your when you're a sergeant and you go up to your men and they just said, Sir, yes. They, they were very sharp, they had to be respectful. When, when, when you don't respect them, the pastor, you don't, you don't respect God either. But the pastor, pastor was called by God, not by vision. Yeah. It, it had to come from God before it before came to be ever applied. You, don't you try to do er, er, everything before you do have to do it and, and wait for until you ask to do it. Mm -hmm. And so when I when, when we all got 18 years of age, we packed our bun, our bag and we never came back to sleep in that house again. And, 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 anyway, and, all, and my younger brother called me, my older brother Bob and, and, and my sister Suzanne, they were we, we were always Whenever we came to church, we had to go to the back of church and walk our stuff right down the aisle and sit on the front pew. My four had to sit together. Didn't know around me with the other one. My mother was back there. My dad was up there. And my dad said, if you ever step out of line, I'm coming off the platform and spanking your butt. And I and, and when you get done, I'll, I'll do it when we when we get home again. <laughs> we were brought up very, very, very strange. But when, when you come to see people calling me, you don't know around them unless you're invited to go in, in the room. But you, you just say, this is that's her home that God gave us. Respect your home. That fact of God, I felt the anointing in your home. I felt a comfort in your home. It, it wasn't a dream of the Lord, rat, noise, and mighty spirits, and all that stuff. How, how are we? When we come to that great supper, and that, that's when he comes, I tell you, we're not going to have to worry about anything. Go ahead and give, give the devil this disability because we, we're already going over yonder to be with the Lord. We, we've done our part, now it's up to you. And, and, we, and one thing about it is, you, you did not hire Pastor John at all because he was already appointed by God. Amen. And you can't borrow from me either. Amen. A lot of, of people, they, they want to disrespect people, show irreverence, you know? but we need to love one another. Amen. Love lifted at me when nothing else could help but the love lifted at me. Amen. Amen. And I, I love the Lord and I won't take it back. I want to see some issues. I, I went to a black church up in Benton Harbor, Michigan, and boy, boy, that's a rough area for African Americans. I got in that church, and, and, and the, the pastor, the usher, usher me to the platform. And, and with that, they were debating about it. And all of a sudden, he said, You're supposed to be down in that seat there. So I went down, and all, all of a sudden, they didn't like the way I was moving and, in, in the Lord, and all of a sudden, the, the pastor's son is a Ben Harvard police officer. He ushered me out of there and threw me, threw me out. <laughs> they were prisoners. I've been a lot of places that I think get prisoners. And so I got out of there. And I told Bishop Wells up in Muskegon, I said, this is what, what I had happened. He said, here's $500, God bless you. <laughs> and and, and he, he fired that, that pastor from that church. He said, you're no longer part of our jurisdiction. 
But we've got to watch and pray that we don't fall in, in, into diamond temptation. When, when you say, oh, I didn't got married. That is, that is the first thing you should do. When, when, when you get married, you go to the house of the Lord. When I got, when I got married to my beloved wife, I, I got a film of it. And I, on a VHS, I got a VHS player. And Pastor John wanted to see it. <laughs> and so when I, I, I did everything untraditional. When they say, we did the word back and forth, but they said, and then I pulled the veil down, the back and I said, I did kiss her. Yeah. Mm. And, and, and then, then I picked her, I picked my wife up and spun around <laughs> three times. <laughs> Didn't I do that to you? We had a time of our life and, and, and some of those people said, some of them, we, we probably came to take, they've never been to a white man, black a woman did it first. So, lo and behold, they, they probably, we got married and, and so that very next day, which was Sunday, we went to church down in Memphis, Tennessee. That church preached about 5,000. Now, Bishop G. E. Patterson Church mm -hmm. has another church that preached quite a bit, mm -hmm. over 5,000 people. Mm -hmm. And everything is on one floor. Yeah. And so, lo and behold, I was, whenever I got Bishop Lowe, it was the elder on some of that he was doing. I, and he said, if I could be able to help you. That is known. Bishop Lowe is going, oh, but I've been in the, in and around the Church of Johnny Christ for 22 years. For 22 years, and, and most of my friends are dying. And some of them were very close to me. I, I would go out with these bishops, and I'd ride in there. I'll never forget it. Whenever I, whenever I was Texas Bishop, I went to his church and he invited me to stay at, a, at Mother Gamble's home because Mother Gamble's had a, had a uh, nice home. And I stayed there, and, but she gave up her room just for me. And she took the other room. And I stayed there for a whole week. And now Bishop, he came, he came by the house and said, I want you to drive for, for me. And I, I, I have a humor feeling about it. I, I say, hey, isn't this some strange white man driving for a black bishop? And, and, and we, we gotta make it light. We gotta make it light. Don't take life for serious. Don't, don't, don't say everything so horrible. And I enjoyed it. I, 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 I well, Bishop Watson and his son is now bishop of that jurisdiction over in Lubbock. Texas. Like I say, I've been in 47 states and two countries. I, I've been around, you better watch how you walk around them too. Mm -hmm. and, and, or they got adjectives, and they got, you know, they, those adjectives can straighten out your attitude. Mm -hmm. And so I, but so getting ready for that great supper. He's coming soon, he's coming for a glorious church mm -hmm. without a spot, wrinkle, washing yes. in the blood of the Lamb. Yes. We're, we're, we're not we're not to worry about things. Know that criticism you stand in front of the Lord. Right. When, when you see somebody that don't love you no more, take the dust off the street and move on. <laughs> when you see that they would come, they would come to you. And a lot of these, a lot, a lot of these pastors, they said, I, I just didn't like you, but, I, but, but the Lord told me to love you. And some of these pastors, they would, they would say, we roll over in our bed, we, we were thinking about Elder Chester, and we better watch how we treat him. And, and they would call, I was at an location, they, I was got five pastors calling me. And, and I, I was laughing about it, hearing out about it, and, we, and they, were, they were starting, I said, let's be light about the matter. Let God was in, in the sea of forgetting for us to remember no more. And people want to bring up the past. You, you, 
with the devil pregnant, pregnant of, of your past, you didn't, you didn't tell him, we know what your future is, hell. But we know what our future is going to heaven. Okay. Don't be defeated. Don't let it discourage you. If things didn't work out right, keep doing it, keep doing it. And eventually it would turn out right. God keeps showing me, uh, uh, Pastor John, he said, you, you, you're going to have about four morning worships here. And there's going to be a screen down in, in the fellowship hall, which will be coming up here and, and swing down there too. Can you imagine that? But you say you want 3,000, all right? Are you ready to teach them? Are you, ready, are you ready to train them? You want all this big stuff, but I take it step by step by step. You don't just jump into something and not be prepared. And that's something we have to watch about what we do in, in the Lord. We, we need to follow him in spirit and in truth. This is, this is a lesson that, that I, I learned in my life. I made a good meal for this one person uh, before I married my wife. I made a good meal for this one person. That person just drove and said, that I went to the neighbor and I invited to him. What, 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 what would I make supper for my wife? I, I know all the bishops. I've been, all, I, I've been a Billy Graham, Arlo Roberts, Jimmy Crater, Jim Baker, all of them. T.D. Jakes, I've been around him. And, and W.B. Grant, or, or around him. I mean, we have a good relationship. W.B. Grant, he's gone. But T.D. Jakes is getting, getting old. He has to turn his ministry over to his daughter. And I, I, I've heard him preach so many different times that I like the way he preaches. But, but it's kind of strange to have that white beard there. I, I can't get over that. I said, and then, then I would have to say, I, I, I would have to say, ho, 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 ho. And, and, and like that. But when you're working for the Lord, you, you cannot be a, a person that wants to pick, what you, pick and choose what you want to do. You've got to let the Holy Ghost put you there. God keeps showing me these things. God keeps showing me these things. I tell you, when, and can you imagine? Can you imagine, Pastor and the First Lady get the salary from this church and won't, won't even have to work at Ball State Hall? Won't, won't have to. He won't have to do it about any work. But this will be just a only job. Yeah. I'll never forget when Bishop D. Patterson was alive. He was pulling his car right into the garage in the in the church building. And he'd get out of the garage and get in his book to go. A lot of people would do that, they and Bishop kind of David Owen and Bishop Light. I knew I went went amongst the people in in, in Arkansas where Bishop Mason got a water baptized at Ruffleville. And, and it's amazing that we, we worship the Lord. We, we worship to the Lord. We're going to have to follow the Lord. Yeah. We're, we're going to have to be willing to pay the price. Uh, and, and look what the Lord did for us. He laid his life down for us. And we're not willing to do, do it for him. All these excuses, excuses, excuses. This is something we have to raise the cautions about in our walk with the Lord. And the, and the first said unto him, I brought a piece of ground and I want to see me go and see it. I pray you have me excused. And then the next one said, Oh, I, another one said, I have thought 
bought the yoke of the oxen and those who, who prove them, I pray, I pray ye, you would, would you would excuse me. And another said under unto to the love matter. With one another. When, when you get when you get married, God has God has told me so many people that get married just for the money. All I was for that reason is all these other ones. But the money, when the money gets down, where where are you going to? And I I I see so many people get so all wrapped up in money, but you gotta put God first. God is perfect. And even the other one, it said, and the Lord said unto the servant, go out to the highways and hedges and compel them to come in, that my palace may be filled. I said unto you that thou of these those men which were bitter shall taste of my supper. There's a gross song. Come and die. The master called us to come and die. We said Jesus all the time, any time. Whenever I, whenever I travel, I was a rough traveler. I sleep in the church. One time to hold a, re, a revival, and I cleaned that church up and everything, and it was way out of town by where Florence, Alabama were. And, and I went there. And so the pastor wanted me to come and hold a revival. And I, I was able to get on the radio down, down there for two hours every time the revival and people were getting saved over the phone. I longed I longed to see Pastor get up his on TV. I didn't under push for no word for the last time. Three of these shine, shine, shine so bright that, that the world can see. That this is the right church to come to. Yeah. Where the, this is the, the lighthouse. This is this yeah. is a protection. This is a haven. Yeah. And and when, when anybody comes in, don't don't judge them by what they wear. Just love them. Yeah. Yeah. We're not we're not robots. Yeah. Everybody comes to life, walks to life, and eats to life. We're we're to be different. Yeah. We're, 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 we've got to be daring to be different. We've got to have love in our hearts. Whenever I was, I had my deep speech right free press off. I was a kid and I was surprised I did. I walked in, into somebody's house and while they were on my rock and, and that couple was drinking beer. And I, I had, and then they were smoking a lot. And I said, you know what, you guys are gonna go to hell if you don't change your way. <laughs> <laughs> when they got, that guy was bigger than him. Tall, and I was just a kid. And whenever I was a kid, I was a I was a bold and blunt person. I didn't I was didn't cover up or anything. And lo and behold, I said, "You're going to come to church, to some church." And so this one pastor invited him to go to church, and I knew the pastor. And he said, "Boy, you really primed the bridge for to get him saved because you have to be honest. They're you know, watching what you do out there in this world. You got to watch." And pray that you don't fall into diverse temptation. Amen. Amen. Don't, don't, don't live in a defeated attitude. Amen. I'm not looking for the undertaker, I'm looking for the overtaker, and I'm not going to, and, and, and I'm going to give you 99 and a half inches. Amen. I'm, I'm going to make it come hell or high water. I, I've been around where the floods have been at. The hurricane had been at all these horrible weather stuff, and I was up in the 1953 blizzard in South Dakota. The snow was up to the window, and you couldn't get out your door, and you had to burn the furniture to, to, to keep warm. And my dad had to go down to the town well to get water to make sure we had enough in the basement, a fissure in the basement to just bring it up. On the first floor. So, and, and my dad even had an American Indian, a part of his church. 
they come in there and, and they wanted to worship the Lord. They come off the reservation. So whenever I got a chance, I can watch the reservation with them. And, and we had, I had great understanding. You don't know people until you get with them and, and don't because they grumble right and complain. Just be funny. Mm -hmm. Because they, don't don't call a guy a sinner. He already knows that. Mm -hmm. he, he don't he don't need somebody else to talk to him about it. He already knows. He, 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 but this is something we have to acquire from. And so I see so many people that I'm working to help on, on, on my traveling. And, and it really shows me a, a lot about what needs to be done for the will of the Lord, for the Lord. Don't complain either back to the country. Don't worry about it. Get yourself that ain't nothing. That that, that don't get you no word. You, you you have to serve the Lord. Don't don't say, oh, it wasn't in the book in the program. Don't worry about it. God knows. And, and you did an excellent job with the women's conference. Which I've been a lot of women's conference. Uh, I've been to a lot of them and I just speak before I met my wife too. They, 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 these, these women would grab a hold of Elder Chester and we go in the kitchen and I do the cooking. And they like my cooking and my, 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 they, they, I told them, they said, if you like my cooking, you get a distance from me because I want to pay for food. And so lo and behold, he, he, he really, um, he's supplied by every day. But you gotta quit making excuses. You gotta quit making excuses. I know, one time I went to a church and I had, had everybody sit, sit up in the front row, and then I started to turn around. They were sitting up there and I said, not turn around. That's your labor, to build these pews. And I've been announcing back to God. I, I, I said, if you want a good service, a good church service, look at me, I'll, I'll get, are you having Sunday school? Someone get back to Sunday school, what are you having a Sunday night service? If you were having a Sunday night service, these people that have closed their churches on Sunday night, you'd be surprised where you would come here on Sunday night. You, you would really be surprised, and I've seen that happen. There's one pastor, he, and he said, well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get the, get, get the goods on these other pastors. I'm, I'm gonna have church on Sunday night, and people got saved, thank the bride, go to the Holy Ghost. And some of them did decide to say, leave your church. Because the spirit was so strong. So we need to be thankful for what we have, for what we have the Lord has provided. Mm -hmm. Jacob, but I, I love him dearly. He's a, he's a dear friend of mine. And nobody better ever talked about his church or him in my face. I'll, I'll turn around and I'll leave him. High and dry. We, we need to love one another. My, my older brother's gone, my sister's gone. My younger brother's still alive. My family is shrinking. I would, I would have to find to come to Fairmont Park Cemetery where my parents are buried at. And my grandparents on both sides. My aunts and uncles and cousins in that cemetery. Every time I go back home, it, that, that is home. But, but the home is now in Alexandria. And, and whenever I was out of the ministry, strong full time, I never asked my dad for no money. My dad told me, now you're going into the ministry. Don't come home, I'm gonna beg for money because that, that church if we take care of you or get out and so my dad my dad's mother was very 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 sick and I, I see so many attributes about different ones when I when I went to in, inspirational church church of God in Christ I, I went down I was right down the street from where we lived at on Auburn Street but we got together, we kept, we didn't worry about what we dressed, how we dressed, 
He'll take care of all that. God don't look at the outward appearance, but he looks upon the heart. Amen. He, don't, he don't care what, what you what you did in the past, it's what you are in the future. Arthur forgave those things behind. Keep on keeping on. Come to that great supper. And whenever they say supper, I, I lift my lips and I say, ready for it. I can't wait for Pastor John to, to really pack up this church. And, and when it does ha happen, the people will have a heart to win souls. That's the only way it's ever going to happen. And I love you, each and every one of you. The ones that weren't here tonight, they got their reason. But the thing about it is, they need to come to the house of the Lord and be faithful. And, and I love the Lord. And I won't take it back. Pastor John, I appreciate you. I say some things that could build this church up. I didn't come here to criticize, but I came here to bless them. When you, when you plant seeds, you can expect the growth of it. Uh, but I, that's another one. This this one, African American church my mother. I went over to her house and she planted sweet potatoes. And, and it's like straw, dirt, and sweet potato. Straw, dirt, and, and it would do the levels of, of it. And, and he says, and she says, the only way you're gonna you're gonna get the sweet potatoes taken care of, you gotta get down on your knees. And, and I, I I said, if the people got down on their knees, you hear a lot of pop pop and pop. Because they, they've never gotten down on their knees and prayed for you. I love each and every one of you. I'll be back on Sunday. I'll, I'll, I'll be back on Sunday. I stand, I stand behind you, Pastor John. Every, I, I talked to my wife and I said, Boy, that's a good factor here. Can you imagine if she's busy? Can you imagine if him having a jurisdiction and all these other ones? We'll come to him and, and get it right for a small church and how it grew. Can you imagine you were over blurred and they come over your place? I talked to some people, well, that's a shock that we never seen that ever happen. That jump so fast, and I said, it's not them, it's the Lord. <laughs> and I'm glad to be here. Yeah. And be faithful to the Lord. Be faithful. So when you're faithful, you don't say, well done. Thou mm -hmm. good and faithful servant enter into the presence of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So when you leave humbly and get and remember this parable of, of the great supper. And, and if I ever get a chance, I'll go to your house and we have this good old fashioned food, spiritual food. I should have. I used to go into and the city of Detroit and, and leave her home. And, and they have church meetings. And they'd always say, Elder Chester, we want you to speak. And at that time, I was a little bit younger and I was full of energy and full of him and bigger than I And I didn't have the snow in my room. <laughs> and so, 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 Mother Dawson, they all find me trying to be great. Elder Chester said, we, we, we don't see how you do it, but you do it, and, and it works out so well. Mm -hmm. did, did you know the Azusa Street started in a home? It, it, wasn't, it, it was all the Pentecostal people that were involved in the inner. And I've been out to Azusa Street in California. And, and it's amazing. Today, I, we went over to all the Chinese place. And I remember we were having a Chinese feast. We went to their churches. I was going to the Hispanic ones. I was going to the Polish ones. I went to a Polish church in Ham Traffic. When you say Ham Traffic, that's where the Polish people live at. And I went to a church in there. I, they were having the, the, the one they couldn't understand. The Caucasian, we were far up in the south, and we went down to the ones back and forth to understand what we're saying. 
but we had a good time in, in the Lord. I do so much greater, greater than all. I could tell it all. I could never tell it all. So, Pastor John, I'm going to tell you, don't you dare give it up. I, I, you're you're going to be a stinker and not a stinker. And you're a bit of important and you're a bit of paper. And you're a bit of, and you're just as important. And CD Jake. So keep on keeping on. Try to get some people out. Oh, there's another one I was thinking about. Who? Why don't you just get a van? A van, and, and I, I would like to drive that van you know, over the Kino area, the rough area of Muncie. That's how some of these churches get started with, with, with a van. Can you, can you imagine, uh, at one time this one lady, she was on the east side of Detroit, and she got in the city bus, and she took the third bus was there, and she made it in time for Sunday school. And, and so we, so it, it's amazing, guys, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. When we have a hunger and thirst after righteousness, they shall be filled. But if there ain't no hunger, it ain't gonna accomplish much of anything. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. I love you. Keep on keeping on. Let's give the Lord a hand, Lord. Good lesson. Pray that the Lord keep the passion that uh, Elder Chester has uh, for the Word of God and for God's people. Special place to be around God's people and come to His house. Uh, this Sunday, remember, we're going to have a meeting, minister the meeting. So, uh, if you consider yourself in the ministry, part of the ministry, we ask that you would stay. And uh, uh, we're going to talk about some things that we want to try to get done. Okay? Try to get a common head and, and a few of the things that I think that go on uh, around the church that we just need to have sort of a common thread about. Uh, you know, sometimes we have kids running around and doing things, and I think we just need to say, okay, these these are things that we've always felt with them. We need to articulate so that we know. So that one person ain't saying one thing, I'm saying one thing, brother Kent saying another, and first lady saying another, Minister Jordan saying another. We all want to say, yeah, well, this is our direction as far as this goes. We're all on board. Anybody got anything? Yes. Okay. Do you mind if I read a couple lines in the book what touched me after here? Amen. We've been we've been waiting for Brother Kent to come along and start ministering. He's just coming out of the shell today. I know. I'm not, I'm just, I just enjoyed your what, what, sermon so much the other day. What what text out of Genesis? Yeah. Oh, Where I love it. That makes my made my whole day. We need to read it.
the waters from waters. Think about that again, waters from waters. What's in between? The ground. I, I was just reflecting on that today, and then guess what we get today? A little over 24-hour period, we got two inches of exposure. Who's having the rain? <laughs> we need well, to do And with Elder Chester, what he was saying, several years ago, I worked in communications, so I flew out to see my friend out in Ontario, Upland, California. And my friend was in the same business that I was in, so I'd fly out there and they'd pick me up at John Wayne Airport, and they'll just give us an opportunity to catch up. Yes, yes. Well, I was involved with the book of Purpose Driven by Rick Warren at Saddleback Church in California. When I went on the trip to go out for my business, I couldn't find my book. And I fretted about this, and I fretted. So I get to his house, and he said, would you like to go to church on Sunday after the trade show? Coming back from Las Vegas, and I said, I'd love to. Guess what church he attended, his wife? Saddleback Church and Rick Warren Church. So not only did I not have my book with me, but I got to go to the church where the fellow that had issued and written the book. So it was just how the Lord works in mysterious ways and then closing on all this. Um, I, I reflect on Elder Chester when he was commenting and giving us the speech tonight on different things. And if we all liked the same thing, we wouldn't like much. And that's what I go through to try to you know, understand how communication would be more different. So it just happens. But those are a couple of testimonies for me inside my heart that after the week here come tonight. I mean, I almost didn't come tonight because I had a headache. Brother Chester? Yeah, you did. Brother Chester said, I hope he got a headache. Amen. I love, love you all. Here and I don't have no complaints. Amen. You know, I used to always say that we uh, 
Uh, I used to tell them when I worked in the school corporation, people were always complaining. I, I told one of my uh, principals, I said, hey, I said, you need to discern between the people who never complain and just tell who, who have a genuine gripe than people that complain all the time. I said, you, you're listening to every complaint, but, but, but Betty is always complaining. I said, don't even listen to her. She's always complaining. Have you figured that out? So in the church, we I, I figured out that I don't have nothing to complain about. Is everything perfect? No, but, but we don't have no complaints. We're, we're very great. We're very blessed. And as he pointed out, we are, are you know, uh, on a track to hold the fort. Sometimes we think we're supposed to be stars. We're not supposed to be stars. We're supposed to hold the fort for the next generation. All that, uh, you know, um, well, the Bible says we shine like stars, but if we try to use that for an egotistical thing, that won't work. That's not what it means. <laughs> you know, but sometimes we just have to have a mind to just stand, hold the fort. Someone's coming in here after us. That's right. Just like the, the folks went to heaven that was in here 70 years ago. Amen. There'll be people here, the Lord is there. There, there'll be people here going to heaven, so we want to pass them out. Apostle Paul was the greatest preacher in the Bible. And when he was done preaching, he, he didn't do a cartwheel or they didn't put a crown on his head uh, physically, or spiritually they did, but he just passed the torch and said, I ran a good race. Like he was exhausted and just passed the baton. And that's all we're going to do. Trust me, at the end, of, at the end, we should be saying, hey, I'm tired, I'm headed home, and thank God. Let's bow our heads in the word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we love you. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you for uh, forgiveness today. We ask that you forge in us a desire to forgive those who have offended us and done us wrong. Uh, help us to seek out ways to give us and ways to seek out uh, forgiveness. You said that uh, those who have been given the most, uh, that is, which is required, and, and that does not apply any more than it does personal character. And we profess to have great character. Help us remember that it should be shown and expressed in how we treat other people and how quickly we are to uh, share this ministry of reconciliation. Uh, anybody that's angry with the show us, anybody who might offend the show us, give us the wisdom to bring them back like, you know, like, like Jacob and Esau, Lord Jesus, that the old broken relationships can still be restored. Thank you for restoring us. In Jesus' name, amen. Sister Melissa, how you doing?